Hello, hello, I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello, Mona. I reach through mysterious ceilings, my only hope. I look for the things I don't know. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in there Queen! <laughs> Good morning guys! Ugh, it is 10 o'clock already so it's not super early in the morning but you guys saw I woke up this morning and went to yoga which I haven't been in two months because we were traveling so much and I used to go two times a week to that class. So I felt very out of shape, honestly, but it was so good and felt so good to sweat and just sweat so much. Like it's a full on sauna in there. And then you're doing stretching and yoga and push-ups and abs on top of it. It's basically kind of like a mix of yoga and Pilates because it's very fast paced and you do a lot of different stuff. But anyways, that class was amazing. As you can tell, it gave me so much energy. So I'm ready to get into the rest of the morning. I think I'm gonna make an acai bowl for breakfast so I'll take you through that and then go make one for you and then we're gonna get into a little bit of work for the day it's finally sunny Florida's weather has been crazy because I think it's about to be hurricane season but I'm gonna try to get in the Sun at some point and then I think we might either do a puppy sunset play tonight or volleyball with friends so it's gonna be a really fun day it is a Tuesday here but you can make any day feel like a weekend if you just time block and hey, have a fun I like that, baby. Yeah. so let's get into this smoothie bowl. so hungry oh hi buddy bean hello good morning kiki yeah it's good morning <laughs> For two so this will be a little bit extra but we're doing ice cubes for one is usually a whole banana frozen strawberries a date for a little natural sweetener i always add collagen to my smoothie bowl it gives it a really good consistency and it's unflavored you don't taste it or feel it at all it just makes the consistency like more thick and helps blend everything really well and then this is the trick you only want to do a dash of milk now we blend. Another trick is you wanna blend on a low speed, not the highest speed, and just blend for a longer time. Coconut bowls make everything more fun. That is when you know it's gonna be a good bowl, when it just, like that is not coming out. I do take a lot of pride in the thickness of my bowls, but this one, I must admit, is one of the best. Oh my God. I wish I had better toppings, but today the only fresh fruit I have is a banana. We'll make it work with that. This granola is my current obsession. Also, it's all about presentation. If it looks pretty, it's gonna taste even better. And lastly, I think it's a crime to make a smoothie bowl without almond butter on top. I just couldn't imagine life without almond butter on my smoothie bowl. And there are the bowls. Mine has just collagen in it, and Lucas's has this mass gainer vanilla protein with the collagen. That looks so good, I'm so excited to eat this. I'm gonna sit and eat this while I get some posts up for the day. Mm. I need to post on Kaizos, my personal account, my Brandon Lou account, um, Honey TikTok, and my personal TikTok. So this is gonna take a bit. We're gonna take a quick break from the vlog to show you some pieces I'm loving for the summer from Princess Polly. And a huge thank you to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. You guys that have been watching for a while know that I work with them almost every month because I just love their clothes. These are ones I'm loving for the summertime. And just a few notes before I show you the pieces, Princess Polly ships from within the US and there's free standard shipping time. I think it's three to six days on all orders over 50 US dollars. They also offer afterpay and shop pay to all US customers. All the cute summer fits that I'm gonna show in this haul, I'll have them 
linked in my description as well as my code. And my code is BRINXO. Let's go ahead and get into this haul. The very first outfit I'm wearing right now is this super cute little set. I'm wearing a white bandeau under because it is sheer. So I love to wear it with a bandeau or a swimsuit or something. But there is the top and then I just tucked it in here, but they're little shorts. And I'm just so obsessed with this set. I think it's so cute and perfect for summer. It also could almost be worn as like a little PJ set. If you're having a brunch party or making breakfast with friends or something, I think it's so cute for that. Let's put on outfit number two. Next up, we've got this super cute little set. I'll show you actually up close the fabric because it's like this gorgeous waffle fabric. I love it. It's so comfortable. And I love like the neutral beige tones going on. And it is just so cute. It has a little zipper here. So it's super comfy. It has a slit and it's very lightweight and great for summer, but also not like a super thin see-through material. It is just absolutely perfect. I'm gonna try pairing it with the little sandals that I also got from Princess Polly. Let's see what that looks like. Cute! That adds to the outfit so much. I don't know if you can see them, but so cute. Next outfit is a very chill, but I feel like this is one of the most friendly outfits. It's just basic white t-shirt and some beachy fun shorts. Did I say t-shirt? Tank top. And I paired it with the sandals again too. It's definitely a very me outfit. I'm gonna be wearing this one a lot. This dress is definitely going for a more fancy look and I love it. It's very lightweight, but it is still double lined, so it's not see-through. And it has this gorgeous like diagonal kind of slit to where it goes low to high. And it's just really flattering and very cute. It's also super comfy. It just feels like a, what's the word a pillowcase like a just whoop, straight over it's beautiful okay before i put these on all the way i first want to show the shirt because it's like the perfect length of a tank top it kind of goes down longer than a straight crop because a lot of shorts nowadays and jeans are more low rise so i feel like the tank tops need to start going a little bit lower so they can match it so this is a perfect one for that i've been looking for a good solid dark denim pair of overalls and i think i've found my match. With these, I would actually wear it with just one side. I feel like that is a little cuter with overalls. Wow, these overalls are so perfect. I love these. They're so comfortable too. Yay! Solid. Okay, I don't think my lens is giving me enough room at the bottom, but this is a skirt. It goes all the way down and we're gonna whip this over and tie a little knot here. So it looks like one of those wraparound strappy skirts. This one is low rise. So I kept the long tank on with it to show you. That is the perfect length for low rise items. Okay, this is really cute. I might size up in the skirt, just one size, because I still like them to be a little bit loose, especially at the bottom. But I think if I size up one size, this would be absolutely perfect. It's so cute. I love that. I'm gonna put the sandals with it. Me. See? Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed. I'm a romper girl. I'll say it. I don't think rompers will ever go out of style for me personally. I just love them. I love that it's all just one piece. It's so comfortable. You don't have to worry about dress flying up in the wind or if you go dancing at a wedding, like you literally are wearing shorts. I think they're amazing. And this is a really cute one for summer. I'll give you the detail up close. It's like this gorgeous little floral print. It has double lined built in layers underneath. And then it's kind of like an open back, but I am even wearing a strapless bra with this and it covers it up pretty well. And then in the front, it just kind of slits and then connects in the front right here. I'm a big fan. And believe it or not, this is a romper too. This is the last piece I have to show you guys. I feel like this color is very in in the summer right now. You can wear this with the straps up if you want. I like to put it kind of like this. And it's just a super comfy, really cute summer fit. But yeah, that's all I have to show you guys today from Princess Polly. So thank you again so much, Princess Polly, for sponsoring this video. If you want to shop any of them, the links will all be in the description. You can twin me on some outfits. All right, that's all for the cute outfits. Let's get back to the vlog. Time to shower. We just took a big everything shower. I feel so much better. I'm gonna get into some comfy clothes and then I think I'm gonna take you through a little skincare. I'm gonna go a little bit extra today because we haven't given the skin much love lately and she needs it. Let's change real quick. I think we're gonna do this little tank from Gilly Hicks and then these flowy shorts from Free People. I feel like once I take a shower, if I put PJs back on to work at home, I'm just way less productive. So I love to put on activewear even if I'm not working out, just like comfy activewear. I have some new products to share with you guys that I've been trying out. Um, Clearstem sent me this and I've been using this and I love it. Another brand that I'm loving is Primally Pure. They sent body butter, body oil, clarifying serum, plumping mist, deodorant, and a bunch of stuff and I love them. They are all natural ingredients in there, which I've been looking for a brand that uses natural ingredients for so long and theirs are amazing. I think I've talked about Elemis a lot before, but it's like marine collagen. I'm loving this still. I use this pretty much every morning morning matrix and they also have this resurfacing serum that i love and then salt and stone sent over some goodies this deodorant is so good i love this so let's get all serumed up i have been having some breakouts on my chin those are hormonal breakouts for my period coming and you know what i just let those come i know that they're coming they're hormonal and they happen every time i just try my best not to pick them which i did that's why they're so red but 
for working on it. So we're gonna put a little bit of the clarifying serum on top of that. And then I also sometimes break out on my cheeks up here. So we're just gonna do a little bit there. Drop that in. Then I'm gonna do the clear stem. And I'm doing this mainly on my cheeks up here, my nose and my forehead. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells kind of like a clean medicine almost, but I love it. Then we'll let that sit for a second. And then for moisturizer, I'm gonna do a little bit of this La Roche Posse, <laughs> and then a little bit of Elemis. I'm just gonna mix them together. And I don't think I'm gonna do any face makeup right now because I might tan a little bit later in my backyard as a little lunch break, just sit out and read and get 30, 40 minutes of sunlight. But I always do feel more productive when I have a little bit of mascara on because it just like wakes up my eyes. So we're gonna do a little bit of that. Then I'm gonna do body butter from Primally Pure. This stuff is so thick. Let me just read to you some of the ingredients. Tallow from grass-fed cows, which is so good for your skin, so moisturizing. Coconut oil, mango butter, shea butter, sweet almond oil, extra virgin olive oil, arrowroot powder, beeswax, almond extract, vanilla, rosemary extract, and vitamin E. Like that's it, it's so amazing. And for this, I just put a little bit on my chest and my neck, my shoulders, and then my elbows, because my elbows get very dry. And then I'll just rub. All of that in. I'm also obsessed with their aromatherapy pen, so I'm gonna do a little bit of this. This stuff is just meant to like calm you, calm your nervous system down. It smells really clean and natural, and for me, it also helps me stay focused when I'm working from home. All right, let's take this hair down. I've been trying to actually not brush my hair as much as I can, and if there's some tangles, I'll just let them be. Usually when it's wet, it feels very tangly, and then once I um, let it dry, I can kind of brush through with my fingers. It's supposed to just help keep it really healthy and not rip the ends out or anything like that, or parts of your hair where there are tangles, so that's one thing I've been really trying. Oh, and this is just Elemis Squalene Oil. I'm putting that in the ends. This is like a silking serum. It makes it so silky and it dries less tangled. So I'm doing a little bit of that. Wow, it smells so good right now. Best feeling ever is coming back from a sweaty workout, doing a shower and just doing all of this. Like I'm ready to conquer anything now. Lastly, just one little spritz of replica perfume and we are ready to get to a work from home day. I'm gonna go downstairs and get on my computer for a little bit, grind out a couple hours of work and we'll check back in with you after. Hey guys, it is a little bit later and I'm not quite hungry for lunch yet, but I'm gonna make a snack. So I'm cutting up this avocado or I did cut it up and this is a little hack. It's literally the easiest snack when you're working Get some good crackers. I like these, they're like gluten-free rice ones. Put a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and just scoop as you eat. So we're gonna eat the snack, keep working a little bit, and then I need to get in the sunshine for at least 30 minutes. We are gonna go do beach volleyball with our friends for sunset. I'm so excited because it's been a pretty long day of work and my brain is just like, so it's gonna be good to be with friends, outdoor movement, and a sunset, ideal night. But before I get ready for that, there was two things I wanted to show you on the vlog before we leave. The first one, I read a little bit outside my new book. This is um, Living Untethered and it is so good. It's blowing my mind. Some of you might know I'm a Christian and there are a few things in here that go against some of my beliefs as a Christian. So just a little like preface pre-warning, if you're also a Christian and I tell you to go get this and you read it and you're like, uh, uh, there are some things that I'm just like, mm, I don't believe that that's totally true, but I can read it, discern, make my opinion and move past it. I feel like I've matured enough in my faith to be able to do that. And there can be things you don't agree with and then things that are totally in agreement with what you believe in um, that blow your mind and make you praise God for earth and creation even more. So I wanted to put that little preface like that might not even apply to you or make sense, but if you are, I wanna put that little pre-warning before I just like, tell everyone to go get this book. But I wanted to read you something because it blew my mind today and really changed my perspective and was super refreshing. And it was talking about experiences that the outer world gives us and how we take them in through our senses, our sight, our taste, our hearing, our like the way we experience the outer world within us. And it was talking about two simple yet profound experiences. And so one of them is a butterfly flying and landing on your arm. And think about how like magical that feels, right? Like it's like it seems like it's a little like a little miracle or like a little piece of magic like just feels so cool when it lands on you right and then the other was a rattlesnake zooming at you and think about like the fear that you have and like the scurry to get away and just 
being afraid in that moment. Those are two different experiences. On Earth, in creation, it's like those two things are just neutral things happening. It's not like a good or a bad thing, but for us, for how we feel and how we experience it, one might be good and one might be bad. And I really like this sentence, so I'm gonna read it to you. It said, what's wrong with having a variety of experiences? If a butterfly landed on you every single moment of every day, it would become so normal that it would be nothing to you. God knew how to create a world that would be always exciting. So I thought that was so cool. And obviously it's not just about a butterfly or a rattlesnake, it can be about any experience that you might deem as good or bad. In reality, a lot of it is just things that are happening in the world and it's the way we view them and the way we perceive them. And if we can kind of break down our mindset to be like, this happened, how can I learn from it, grow from it, experience it fully and move on? I don't know, it makes experiences in the world a lot different. And then it said like when, if both of those things happen to you, now you have this pattern of thought in your head of a butterfly landing on you. It was like such an incredible moment. You wanna hold on to that. You don't want it to fly away. You want, to, you want it to just stay there. And then when it does fly away, you just think about it and wish, oh, I wish it could come back. I wish it stayed longer. So you're like grasping onto that moment. And then for the rattlesnake, once, it, once that moment's over, you're like, I never want that to happen. Again, if I see a snake, I'm running like I hate snakes. You have this pathway of your thoughts because of that object. And it says, now that you have held these leftover mental impressions in your mind, reality has to compete with them for your attention. Your ability to fully focus on the outer world around you is going to be hindered by the constant distraction of these inner impressions. And obviously those are very like surface level interactions with a snake or a butterfly, but it's talking about maybe thought patterns in your head from previous relationships or from how your parents raised you or things that maybe happened to you in the past or maybe really good things. You had an awesome relationship. You didn't want it to end and then it ended or you used to live somewhere that you loved a lot longer and now you just are grasping for that moment still because you just want it back. So I don't know, it was really, really enlightening and cool to get a new fresh perspective of how can we exist without grasping on to good moments and also being so fearful and walls up and cut off from bad moments and how can we exist without those and just be in the present moment and let things happen and flow without fully giving so much emotion and attachment to them. I hope that made sense. Maybe it's one of those things that you have to actually read the whole chapter and I'm just like on one about it, but it was really, really cool for me. So I wanted to share a little bit and hopefully that reaches someone or speaks to someone. But the next thing I wanted to show you is we're packing our first influencer box for honey. I wanted to show you what we have. We have a little water bottle. I have these little clips, some chapstick, our little honey swim thank you card. And then she's getting a swimmy. And she's getting this blue one. So it'll be the full bikini of this. I think we might add one more in there too. And then a pair of our diving goggles. So pretty. So these are all on the website. I do have a code for all honey swim stuff, those goggles and the swimsuits. I'll put it on the screen if you are in need of either of those. So we're gonna pack this up, drop it off at the post office, and then head to volleyball. So we'll see you there. Get it, get it, get it. We're trying to set it up. There's a lot. This is not my forte. <laughs> I didn't realize how bad my back was until I just showed y'all. Okay, we also have these today. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, not taking pictures. Ooh, and now we're gonna walk down the street and the sun is setting so it's the prettiest little night and we're gonna go get some redfish tacos he said wait get this on camera <laughs> wow that's so cool babe that is so cool <laughs> Now we're gonna get ice cream.